Hey guys, Neri here from Drake Wing Gaming. So if you know me on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Dawn Course Bjorn's Path. So this is going up in place of uh, a place to call home because a place to I, I did a bunch of edits on that. Well, not that many. I had like three edits on it, but like there was like some nudity in it, so I had to keep editing it. And YouTube has been processing my edits for like 12, 13 hours now, and the video is still not ready, so I'm just going to go ahead and put this up for you guys. So, a place to call home will be probably going up tomorrow, you know. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and begin. Let's go ahead and start. Let me get my timer ready. All right, here we go. All right, guys, let's pick up where we left off with Bjorn and go. Okay, <clears throat> all right. <clears throat> I grabbed the bottle with my slippery paw and put it in motion, watching it spin before stopping it. Oh. So it's payback time. Truth or dare? Let's go with a question. Ah, a shame. I had some ideas already. What to ask him? What's your biggest regret? We're gonna do all these. What's your biggest regret? Not picking up an instrument earlier. If I had started playing guitar when I was still a kid, it'd come with it'd come much more easily to me. It's harder to get to get fluid at playing at my age, but not impossible. Better late than never. Interesting. I thought it'd be something related to sport. He doesn't mention it very very often now that I think of it. Hmm. <laughs> Rune leans in, grabs the bottle, which stops on Jorgen. So we're gonna go back, and we're gonna do some more. What's your favorite food? What's your favorite food? Blueberry pie, definitely. Though apple pie comes at the close second, served with a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Ooh, and some fresh mint and a sprinkling of cinnamon and chopped pecans. Ooh, fuck yes. Wow, I haven't seen a look this dreamy on his face before yet. Wow, you must really like pies. What can I say? I really do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Rune leans in. Okay. Let's go back, and we'll do the next one. What is the drunkest you've ever been? When did you get the most drunk? That must have been some time during my first year at university. I drank much harder back then. Oh, I know. There was this one party in the dorm during which I wrestled with a bunch of dudes I didn't know and I still have no idea why. I tried to outdrink a moose guy who was twice my size, and in the hindsight it was a rather poor, poor idea. I had fun, but I remember barely half that evening. Those were some good times. I missed them sometimes. What happened? What happened to them? No, oh, I joined the team and started to study much harder. I didn't have the one. I didn't have the time to party like that anymore. And I gave up. I gave up alcohol for a little for a longer while. When it became a habit to me, I, and I noticed I started to feel somewhat down without it. I knew I had to stop. Thankfully, I have a healthy relationship with alcohol now, so a beer or two every few weeks doesn't hurt. Hmm. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, so we went over all this on Rune's route. Anyway, one more. What do you think of me? <laughs> I hope it doesn't come off as too egocentric, but I am genuinely curious. What do you think of me? Aww. You're a nice friend and an interesting guy. You have your passions and ambitions. You could do with some more confidence and boldness to let what's inside you shine through more clearly. Don't be afraid to talk about yourself more. It's not a bad thing to share more of you. Rune leans in, grabs the bottle, which stops on Jorgen. Dare. Sure, you're a call. Have a Salmiak. Rune. I hate you. Jorgen grabs a small bag of the treats from Lake, takes one and pops it into his maw. He shuts his eyes and chews the sweet for a bit. Suddenly he stops and his face starts turning red. For a moment I'm concerned that this might be an allergic reaction, but no, the bat is breathing normally. He just must be very sensitive to them. Or just hate them this much. Happy? Yes, I am. Thanks for asking. Jorgen spins the bottle now, and it spins just twice before stopping on Lake. Truth or dare? Truth! Lake, you're a cutie. What would you do if you had one day to live? One day? That's not much. I'd like to take a plane to New Zealand, but the flight would take like 16 hours or so. At least I'd die in New Zealand, though. But most likely I'd take my friends, get into a car, drive us to some beach, and party till the midnight. We'd make a bonfire and dance around it. One of us would play a few songs on the guitar and we'd have a sing-along. Oh, I'm almost tearing up thinking about it. It'd be the best ending I can think of, though. It's just a shame it couldn't happen in New Zealand. I 
Okay, who's next? Now Lake spins the bottle on the table, and it almost flies off the edge before stopping, pointing at Rune. Is he this drunk already, or just clumsy? Not again. Is this for real? Sorry, rules don't forbid that. Truth or dare? Dare. Oh, what should I give you? Lake looks around the room as if looking for ideas before locking his eyes on me. Oh, I know. Rune, you have to kiss Carvin. Rune looks at Lake, horrified before turning towards me, his eyes pleading for help. I'm in no state to protest, though, and this doesn't exactly sound bad. Am I drunk? Honestly, it's hard to tell. I do feel a bit woozy. Rune is sitting just next to me, and I feel his hot breath on my snout. No, no, that's too much. Guys, stop. No kissing. How about we switch to Never Have I Ever? It's a much friendlier fun. Oh, good idea. Yeah. Let's do that, whatever it is. Oh, it's a very simple game, even simpler than this one. We sit in a circle and take turns saying a statement about something we've never done. Others drink as a penalty if the statement isn't true for them. The fun is in making as many people as possible drink with one statement. <laughs> Are we doing shots? Oh, I'd rather not get us all drunk on the second day. Remember that we have lectures tomorrow, and that Jorgen doesn't drink. Aw, buzzkill. How about... How about swigs of beer for those who are drinking, and raising paws for those who aren't? Fine by me. Sounds good. Fine, let's go with that. Aw, oh, you're no fun. Hey, you don't get to say that. You just hijacked a game of spin the bottle. Can't you just pour me a soft drink or something? Sure, works even better. We're already sitting in a circle. Does everyone have their drink? I need a bottle. I'm done with this one already. Ah, just wait a second. Anyone else need another? Can you fetch me one? Sure thing. A beer for a cutie coming right up. <laughs> cutie? Here you go. Thanks. How about we take a small break? This is quite fun, but I'd like to stand up and maybe get some fresh air first before continuing. We could do that. Why not? I gotta take a leak. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll go look through the... I'll go look through the record collection here again. <laughs> oh, taking a break was a good idea. It feels good to stand up and stretch. I was more tense than I thought. I'm going out to get some fresh air. Anyone want to tag along? Oh, I could go. Yeah, I'll stay. I think I'll stay here. I'm not up to going outside when it's, when it's this cold. See you later, then. See ya. I'll just spend this time chilling out here. We should start again soon, anyway. You're gonna talk to Bjorn? Okay, guess not. We're back! Good, then we're all ready. Uh, Travis, you can start. So, the rules are simple, and you already heard them. You don't need to elaborate if you drink, but feel free to do so if you want to. That always makes the game more fun. Who wants to go first? Oh, I do. Oh, sorry, Lake, you like your voice. Oh, I do. <laughs> I didn't get to give a dare, so it's my turn. Go ahead, then. You have to start your sentence with Never Have I Ever and tell us something you've never done. Uh, and you want something innocent, right? Not necessarily, but let's see. Hmm. Never Have I Ever Sent a Letter. <laughs> Mika, Rune, Jorgen, and I all sip our drinks. One second, guys. Whoa. One second. Gotta plug in my power supply. Just so I can stop this slideshow there we go perfect getting power again Mika, Rune, Jorgen and I all sip our drinks we used to send letters to our relatives in Helsinga every year for winter holidays that was our little tradition <laughs> same with me but I was also sending letters to my family in Poland never have I ever had ice cream what? <laughs> oh, everyone raises their bottles in unison. What? Never? Just how? <laughs> Just never bought any. Simple as that. Looks like I got you all. Your turn, Miko. Never have I ever ate a bug. <laughs> Torolf and Lake both sip a bit of their beers. 
I tried them in Asia and in many places. They're neither weird nor disgusting. I'm not a fan, though. Oh, now it's my turn. Uh, already. Where's... where's Bjorn? Coming up with something I've never done is hard. The reverse would be much easier. What a weird game. Let's see. Uh, where is Bjorn? <laughs> what in the fuck? Where the bear at? Let's see. Oh, there you go. Hell yeah. Never have I ever snuggled someone naked. Ooh. Mm hmm. Really? Everyone? So, likely I'm the last person before their sexual debut here. Guys, you're making me feel bad about myself. Oh. Well, we could always fix that. Hey, it's not a bad thing. Okay, whatever, next one. Never have I ever been on any roof. Jurgen takes a sip of his soda, but the rest of us don't move. Oh, when was that? Last time, earlier this evening. What? How? I can show you later. I'd be thankful. I always wanted to sit on a roof and look around. I'm not sure why, but it was but it was my uh, quite trivial dream since my childhood. Just never got to, never just never got to realizing it. Okay, my turn. Never have I ever had a one night stand. Oh, this will be an interesting one. Let's see. Jorgen, Lake, Rune, and Torf all take a swig of their drinks. The rest looks at them expectantly. Oh, come on, like I'm going to talk about it. I could talk about mine, but I'm pretty sure you don't want to hear about them. Well, I'd like to. Oh, go ahead if you want to. The most memorable one I've had was with a pair I met at a local club. Oh, let me tell you, they were good with the ropes. And I haven't seen a collection of toys this big before or after. They even had a sling and a... Okay, maybe that's more than I wanted to know. Uh, next one, maybe? Ah, and it's my turn now. <laughs> Never have I ever blacked out at a party. Rune and Lake both take a gulp. I already mentioned one party. I'm not going to talk about more of them. I don't need much to get drunk, so it happened to me a few times. But I think I'm just falling asleep. <laughs> Lake, go ahead. Oh, right. Never have I ever had meat. What? Never? Only Jorgen doesn't drink, although that doesn't surprise me. Bats are known for their affinity for fruits in a meatless diet. My family doesn't eat fish, so I never tried it as a kid, and then I never felt like having some. And nowadays it's not that easy to find it anywhere. Well, fair. Jorgen? <laughs> never have I ever gone skinny dipping. Has anyone asked the question where Bjorn has gone to? Miko, Lake, and I take a swig simultaneously. Of course, every Finn has gone skinny dipping at least once in their life. My turn now. Hmm. Never have I ever slept on the floor. Lake is the only one who takes a gulp immediately. Then after a short moment, Jorgen sips his soda as well. Hmm. Sleeping on a mattress doesn't count, right? No, not what I had in mind. Okay, fine. Never had an opportunity, or should I say, or rather say, misfortune. And it's my turn again. Let's see. Let's see. Never have I ever broken something that belonged to me. Never have I ever stayed. Never have I ever stolen anything. Oh, woo. Never have I ever stolen anything. <laughs> the room momentarily falls silent. I didn't expect that reaction, but in hindsight, stealing isn't a small thing. After a brief moment of anxious stillness, so heavy it's almost palpable, Travis takes a small, sneaky sip. But of course, we all see that. Travis? I can't imagine the small, chill for a guy ever stealing anything. Um, well, uh... <laughs> it was a rather stupid thing. I don't know if I want to talk about it. Well, we already know you did, and you might as well tell us the details. Right, so... I had a friend who wanted to get back with their old friend, and I felt they needed a small nudge. So, to help him, I took something from that person for a while, but as soon as I noticed it wasn't working, I returned it. I wanted to do so earlier, but I didn't really have an occasion. In hindsight, it wasn't the best thing to do, but I just wanted to help. Travis gets very defensive and clearly uncomfortable. Well, in his position, I likely would as well. Wait, a friend who wanted to get back with their friend. Travis? Ah! Spooky time! 
Suddenly the lights go out. Everyone freezes and falls silent in an instant. What's going on? I think we just lost power. Oh, I don't like that. The light from the fireplace is enough to light up the room, but the ominous shadow it casts aren't very reassuring. It's likely just a small technical issue. I'm sure we'll get the power back on in a moment. Let's hope so. I kind of like it this way. It feels much more atmospheric without power. You can really feel that it is pretty much a big cabin in the woods. You're kind of right. Excuse me. You're kind of right, you know. Especially with the fireplace. That Tanuki. The power out has distracted me, but I still have a few things to discuss with him. As much as pressing him here in front of others would feel satisfying, I won't do that to him. I'll have to catch him in a moment so we can talk. But it's also kind of spooky in a good way. Oh, I know what we should do. How about we tell some scary stories? How about we check out what's going on first? I'll go to the lobby to ask what's up. Anyone else want to go with me? No way. Don't tell me Rune is afraid of the dark. I'll go with you. No problem. Great. Thanks. Jorgen and Ruth both turn on their phones, torches, and walk out into the darkness of the corridor. Seeing as this is my chance, I walk up to the Tanuki, standing, standing conspicuously behind Torolf. Travis, can I steal you for a moment? Um, depends on what for. I think you know what for. I want some answers. Travis sighs and follows me to the corner of the room, his steps slow and hesitant. Listen, I know I fucked up big time. I owe you an apology, Carvin. Just, it's embarrassing. In the hindsight, it's obvious that I shouldn't have done it, but it seemed like a harmless idea. At least he understands this much. I was preparing for a longer confrontation, but maybe it won't be needed after all. There's one thing I don't get, though. But why? I don't understand why you didn't want me to stay in my room. You see, just please, please don't tell him I said that. I talked with Miko after he got the key to his room. He told me he wanted to take a room with you, but you wanted to have a single one. It seemed like it was really important to him for some reason, and you two seemed so close, so... I was sure I was sure if you couldn't access your room, you would stay with Miko. I didn't know you, but I was sure that just a small nudge would be enough to get you to do that. I wanted to return the key as soon as that happened, but it didn't. I started to feel remorse, but it, it all wasn't going as I thought, and you seemed to be really stressed out about the key. I put it back in your camera bag when you were standing in line for supper. I, I was sure you'd notice it as soon after, when you'd want to take any pictures. Heh. <laughs> Imagine the dread I felt when I heard you hadn't found it at all at, at breakfast. Good. Good. That's still much less than he should go through for this. Carvin, I'm, I'm sorry. Miko didn't ask me to do it. I just wanted to help him somehow. I know this looks bad, but can you forgive me? Forgive him. I'm not gonna not forgive him. You sound sincere. If you really understand why it was a bad thing to do and you won't repeat that, I can forgive you. But I'll still be wary of you. You have some amends to make. I know. For now, I'll try to help others a bit less often. Huh. I don't know if it's the right lesson, but in this case, maybe it's a good idea. I gesture to the Tanuki to follow me, and we go back to the common room together. Oh, this is exciting. What if the power won't come back? Hmm, like it all? Until the end of the day, at least. If we want... If we want to have hot water, it shouldn't be too inconvenient. I doubt our supper is ready yet, but the guest house should have a backup generator ready for situations like this. Oh, this is cooler than supper. I can even go to bed hungry if it means we get to spend the evening without power. You know you can just not use power, even if it's working. <laughs> You're right. But this is like a communal experience. Something exciting. Even if we wanted to use power now, we can. That's what makes it spooky and exciting. Ooh, maybe there's something supernatural at play here. You know, power doesn't go, just go out without a reason. How would that work? Oh, I don't know. That's what supernatural means. It's inexplicable. Ooh, maybe there's a killer on the loose, and he cut out the power so it'd be easier to murder us. And we'd let Jorgen and Rune separate from us already. That's like the first rule in horror. Don't separate. I doubt this is a horror story, Lake. But if so, maybe you should go check if they're all right. No way! I'm not going anywhere! In the same moment, a bright light flashes at our faces from the corridor. It's Rune and Jorgen coming back already. Jorgen! Rune! I'm happy you're back. Did you find out what's going on? There was no one at the reception, so they were probably working on it already. No one at the reception? 
Huh? What's wrong with him? He spooked himself too hard. Relax, Lake. It's just a power outage. I know, but isn't it fun to be spooked? Not often we get thrills like that. It would be a waste to just let it slip. Wow, what's with this mood whiplash? I swear he's being serious. So, what now? I say we just wait until the power comes back. In the meantime, we could go back to playing Never Have I Ever. Yeah, I feel like I used up all the cool ideas I had already. How about the spooky stories, though? That would fill, that would fill the mood nicely. Oh, well, I don't know. Never Have I Ever didn't sound bad. No, dummy. No. Get away from that. He's gonna jump on you. He's gonna jump on you. Back away. Back away. Cat, he's gonna jump on you. <laughs> Alright. Do any of you know any, any good spooky stories? Alright guys, I'm gonna pause it right here. Can someone answer me where the fuck Bjorn went? Kind of weird. Just kind of disappeared. Huh. Alright, anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks if you can, it always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!